After years of dreaming, it's finally happening. We are building our very own camper. Almost six months ago, our journey as van builders began. And believe me, it was challenging. Oh my God. What did you do? We made many mistakes along the way. Wow, wood is destroyed. Worst nightmare happens. The floor is wet. But luckily, our camper van turned out amazing in the end. Last week, we finally went camping with our camper for the very first time. It was an incredible experience. But something was missing. A kitchen. Yes, even in a tiny camper like ours, you can include a proper kitchen. Or at least, that's what we believe. So, this week, we'll put our theory to the test and start building our sliding kitchen. And when you start building a sliding kitchen, it all starts with planning. And I have been planning this already for weeks. I made a lot of drawings. And now when you really put it on the floor, you know, kind of imagining the sizes, I think I changed my mind. But I have to discuss with Adi what's smart. You can discuss, I'm here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so what I was thinking, like this stove needs 40 centimeters. We didn't just jump into building the kitchen. Most time went into the planning phase. We wanted to be sure it would be both efficient and smart. We considered where to place the gas stove, the basin, and all the groceries. Spending many, many hours on planning. I'll explain you what are we doing. First, we thought to have a wooden frame, and then we can attach the, these sliders to that wooden frame, but then, Mira came up with this idea that we can use these metal things. So this, aluminium. what? Aluminium, yeah. So we can use this aluminium and we can actually attach this slider to this aluminium. And because of that, we save a lot of space because if we had a wooden frame, it would be this thick. And with aluminium, we can just attach it to the slider and say, for example, if it's attached, it can just come out like this. We have to buy a 140, centimeter long slider that's gonna be fun and expensive and we can also drill this aluminium to the base of the car so it's pretty stable finally after making our decision it was time to start cutting the wood we're using this really dangerous machines and i have to hold it on the rip oh. oh. well it got really good We can put it there. Yeah. So, and if you're wondering what am I doing with these beautiful stones, do you see that? Yeah. If you come to the Netherlands once and you go to Giethoorn, one of the most beautiful magical places, then you can crack stones and then inside the stone might be diamonds or nothing. It's a bit sad. But now I'm making a kitchen top for a sliding kitchen and it's pretty wide. We can make it a bit wider than the box itself, but at one point it has to become a bit smaller, otherwise it won't fit in the back. Uh, so now I'm making some art to cut this out and I was thinking to make a round here. So that's why I have this bucket. I was thinking to start around like this and then go a bit like this. Oh my God. What? What did you do? I'm in the freaking table. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. A few weeks ago, I cut the table and now Mira cut the table. So we are even now. And I really thought, how can you ever cut the table? How can you not notice that? I was stuck with the thing. I was like, ah, so heavy. And it just, I then I saw. So this is uh, where I cut. Oh, it's in the same line. Oh, oh this is not that oh, bad. Oh, it looks like fire. Yeah. So this is the piece of wood with a nice shape. So this will be my kitchen top. I People. can put the gas stove here. We can do cutting here. Mm. Okay, this is my saddest moment of my whole build. We cut it on the wrong side. The kitchen top is like this. And this part had to be here. Oh, I'm so sad. Because you think, oh, you can just turn it around. But this part is really ugly. One thing we have learned from building our van is the importance of quickly coming up with alternative solutions. Often the final design turns out to be very different from our initial plan due to the many mistakes we make along the way. You hold it? Yeah, I have it. Put the stove here and I can cut here. Mm -hmm. 
Now it's time to attach the wood pieces together and see if they fit. This is the rough idea of how our kitchen will look. We still need to attach the countertop and complete a few more steps before installing it in the camper. One of those steps is cutting the aluminium frame to the desired length. <laughs> One week later. Last week we made the back kitchen and now we have a master plan of how to install it and how to put it together. This is Mira's creativity. She painted the whole back kitchen you pink. Chose? It's not all going to be pink, no worries. But it's going to be beautiful. I want to show you something. Can you take it out, Mira? What do you want to show? This is a 140 millimeter slider and it is a locking slider so you can lock it. I can show you how it works. And it's heavy. Do you even know how heavy it is? No. It's crazy heavy. But why it is heavy that it's also heavy duty slider. So you can actually put 220 kilos of load on this and it shouldn't break ideally. And about the self-locking slider, there's a yellow thing here. You just do it like this, open it. And then my finger goes off. <laughs> and then Oh, my finger close goes it. off again. I hope it can fit. And of course, there's also a kitchen top coming. Yeah? You've seen that last week. So now here the kitchen fits. And then we obviously have to attach everything. And it will also come out 140 millimeters. So that's crazy. So in the no, end... No, it's 140 centimeters, I think. It's centimeters, 1400 sorry. 1400 millimeters. Yeah, because in the end... So this thing would be like 280 centimeters yeah. long. So I was sewing and I heard something of, oh, it would be nice if he can hide these screws. And I thought, oh, I'm coming, I'm coming. Because I had these little golden covers for screws from Timu. And now it works as a charm. You see, we already put you the gold. Do it. And now this one comes on top. Oh, that's not good. And the good part about aluminium is that whatever you drill, it just goes super easy. So it's almost as if you're drilling in a wood. Now it's time to actually attach this wood to the sliders and the aluminium frame. And how we're gonna attach it is really cool. This is where the screw would come. So they both are of M6 length. So M6 means that this is six millimeters and this would be from the outside and this would be from the inside. The sharp edges, that would be just landing on the wood. After attaching the screw and everything, let's see if the slider even works. And now here it is locked, so we can just take it out anywhere, any place and just cook or yeah, just have any storage. So even if we put something here, we can just take it out. So that's really handy. So this would be the final position. So I hope you're not doing anything wrong. Should we go in and see if it goes? <laughs> no, it's not. So the seat cannot go up. Shit. The the bulk, can you hold this? Yeah. Well, can you hold? No. What is it? It's not good. Yeah, because we put the thing in the back, right? 
Oh. Yeah. Yep. Just when you think you're almost done, disaster happens. So what happened? Now they decided, oh, wow. we decided okay. to put the railing a bit more in the back because there was more space in the back suddenly. And at the point I was already thinking, like, huh, but we measured everything precise. Okay. When did we measure the position? And then um, when I saw the kitchen top, just like an hour back, I thought, huh, I really thought this, that we measured this. I thought, okay, I'll just let it go. But now, yeah, it's bumping into the, into the seat. Into everything. So long story short, you have to cut out a piece of this kitchen top. So uh, yeah, I think I have no choice. I just have to do it here, Adi. Huh? Oh, l uh, let's take yeah. a clean one. Uh. <laughs> we need a Dyson. Ah, perfect. Yeah. Kick. Oh. If the sand is. Oh. Oh, so this is like the first lock. Sometimes it locks, sometimes it doesn't. Oh. <laughs> you have to go in, maybe. No, all the way. Oh, so that must have yeah. I think we are doing something wrong. No, all the way and lock it. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I think we are doing something wrong every. And yes, also a second disaster happened. Imagine dreaming about your perfect camper kitchen for ages, tirelessly building it, and then after installing everything, the slider gets stuck. We tried it again and again, but couldn't figure out what was going wrong. For the last 10 hours, we have been fixing, of course, a problem. A problem we still don't know how it comes. And we, it is fixed for now, but it can come <laughs> back anytime, and we don't know when. <laughs> I took it out halfway and it got locked and it couldn't go in. Oh, and it couldn't go, it couldn't go out. No, it couldn't go out. It couldn't go out. Craziest part was that we couldn't just take the kitchen out because all the screws are hidden. We couldn't take this whole frame out because half of the screws are hidden because of this. So we were really stuck that what to yeah. do. It was almost like you have to like really just cut it out of the van. If, yeah, or you just live with it that you cannot slide it out, but that would oh, be, like, that would be the saddest sad. option. And then at one point I said to my father, just use strong horsepower. And he was just, ah, blah, ah, blah, and he took it out. But we still, none <laughs> of us know what happened. What exactly the problem was. Now we are doing some another construction. Yeah. Look at this. You can just close it, and if you want to open it, just open it. What are you doing, Mira? I'm seeing how to build everything and if it really will go everywhere. But as you can see, like these plates and cups and stuff, they are not really high, so there's a lot of space left. So we're really, really thinking how to make the best use of this space. And I do think maybe the best is to, to work with the little baskets. Is that a coffee? And Mira did all yeah. these groceries for today. At this point, we thought, let's add something extra to our kitchen. What could go wrong now? Now we want to make this flap as well. This is the kitchen. You slide it open. You slide it open. <laughs> Click. And now what? We'll do it again? I'm scared. No, you just have to go in one go. Okay. Because if you stop, you are still traumatized that it might yeah. just lock. So look how cool this is. And if you think, oh, this is not enough kitchen top to cook all your stuff, check this out. Pam. Pam. Oh, 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 so big. I can put the stove here. I can put the plates here. I can cut my veggies here. It's it's really cool. It's really huge. And here, you, this is a uh, toilet effect. But we can also put stuff on top of you this. You can put the sink. Oh, yeah, sink. Yeah, uh, that's fun fact. We have uh, the same kind of shape, like the same box as a sink and a toilet. It's a bit risky if you want to confuse them. But uh, like if you're driving and stuff, we put the toilet in the back. But if you're cooking, then we can 
swap the toilet with the sink, and then I open this, put it up, and I have a sink here. Yeah, How you amazing. can wash the veggies and just cook and... And cook, yeah. The only thing, uh, like, as you can see, there's a lot of storage under here. Uh, I'm trying to search some really cool storage baskets mm. so that not everything will go everywhere and we can make the best use of space. Yeah, mm. because we already don't want to just put the wood and make it permanent. No, I just want to use yeah. baskets because otherwise you have another piece of wood. and. Uh, yeah, yeah, and if you have baskets, you can always just change it. It's yeah, not take it stuck out to the stuff. system. So, okay. Nice. Bye-bye.